First up, however, we are excited to have a guest from the States joining us on the show. Her name is Lauren Mayhew, and she's an actress who has appeared in massive American shows like Dexter and CSI, some of my favorites, and she has a successful music career too. It definitely looks like you're only going to be sleeping when you're dead, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> and, and I feel like, do, do, are you sure you have enough talents to showcase? <laughs> you, would you like another one? <laughs> no, I think that, that's good for now, I think. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's because you're an actress, you're a singer, you've been a um, ring announcer on WWE. That's right. And you're also an EDM DJ. That's right, yeah. How do all <laughs> these, okay, so let's start off with how you landed up in South Africa. So there you are, minding your own business, right. doing your thing as best as you do, mm -hmm. and then you wake up to a tweet. That's right. I woke up Tell one us morning about it. and, you know, I feel like, as we all do, I check Twitter, which is my news feed. Yeah, I feel it's like, like <laughs> alarm, <laughs> right? Twitter. Exactly. Yeah, Twitter, exactly. So I'm checking Twitter and it says, now playing Lauren Mayhew's song, What is Love? And I'm like, who's Good Hope FM? So I checked wow. them out and I was like, wow, Cape Town's like leading pop station. I was like, yeah. that's so cool. So I reached out to them. I was like, they're playing my song. I might as well reach out. And I ended up becoming friends with some of the radio DJs there and, uh, you know, hosts and stuff that's, that are on the show and uh, we became friends and now they've playlisted other of my music. And I just, ever since that moment, knew that I had to make it over here. Absolutely. <laughs> well, welcome and I'm glad you made it here. Thank you. And uh, have you enjoyed it so far? I have been having a blast. Your country is so gorgeous. It is beautiful. I love it here. It is beautiful. <laughs> so you do all these things, and it's interesting for me how you juggle them all, and not just time-wise, because mm -hmm. you're young and you have all the energy to do it, so why not? But sometimes people worry that if they're seen as an actress or they're seen as a musician or mm -hmm. a DJ, that they're kind of neglecting an aspect of, mm -hmm. of, of the, the full spectrum of what they want to offer. Yeah, you know, it's, it's interesting. I feel like when I first started out, people couldn't seem to wrap their head around. They're like, well, I don't understand. Do you sing or do you act? You know, they, they wanted me to, they want to put me in a box and pigeonhole me and make me choose one. Mm -hmm. And especially nowadays, I feel like in terms of how the entertainment industry is, there's no need for that. I mean, I feel like now there's so many different TV shows and films that incorporate music and that celebrate that. And there's so many celebrities now and um, the entertainers that do both, like, uh, you know, J-Lo and Justin Timberlake and all yeah. these people that, you know, they'll, they'll do a film, they'll incorporate the music into their film, maybe in the soundtrack yeah. or something like that. And then on their off time, they're touring the world. And Absolutely. That's exactly what I want to yeah. do. Yeah. <laughs> well, tell me about what it actually takes to be good at all those things, not just to be able to say that you can do all of them, but that you're mastering all of them. What does it take behind the scenes? You know, constant, constant repetition and practice. I think, mm -hmm. you know, one of the things, it sounds like it's a lot, but first of all, they're all interconnected. You know, all yeah. of them are a level of putting yourself out there, performing, um, you know, especially with the music and the DJing, it's, you know, singing is something I've done since birth. So mm -hmm. knowing music, I mean, I've been a songwriter forever. And so being, coming a DJ, like I already had a very good understanding of beat and of like yeah. melodies and about how things should work together and, you know, things like that. So they kind of work more together than right, you might think. Right. Uh, so yeah, but there's definitely a lot of practice behind the scenes, but Absolutely. I also started from when I was very young. I was like, 12 or 13 years old when I started? Yeah, so yeah. WWE was crazy. Um, that was super cool. It was actually when I was graduating college and I got an audition from my commercial agent. And they were like, hey, yeah, they're looking for a new ring announcer and national anthem singer for the WWE. And I was like, that's like the men in tights, right? And they're like, yeah. And I was yeah. like, okay. <laughs> so I go, to the, I go to the audition, you know, not really thinking much of it. And it wasn't until I got my screen test, which was in New York, where they're based, actually in Connecticut, technically. Um, so I get flown out there, like all expenses paid, I'm going. And it wasn't until I arrived that I realized, wow. This did you have to audition in the ring? And what was, no, what did you have ring, to do for the audition process? They actually have um, like a massive studio uh -huh. in Connecticut. They have recording studios, they have okay. uh, film studios, because yeah. they're a massive company now, an entertainment company. Right. They don't just do the live ring, like, ring matches. They yeah. have you know, TV shows and films and all these other things. So I came in there, um, I auditioned, and I was like, wow, this is a huge deal. Like, this yeah. company is massive. So I ended up getting the opportunity, which I am forever grateful for, because it was such a really cool experience. I got to travel every single week to somewhere new, um, even internationally. I got to perform at the O2 Arena in London twice, which was Whoa. pretty cool. Whoa. So, I mean, that's, I don't know, I think that fits maybe 
60 or 75,000 yeah. people or something, and it was packed. Yeah. So that was a, quite the experience. Yeah. I actually had to learn um, God Save the Queen, their national anthem for it, <laughs> which I was a little bit nervous about, because that is a song you do not want to mess up. You don't, don't want to mess it you up. You don't want to mess up somebody's <laughs> anthem, right? Uh, exactly. So I am Never in, mind your own. Right? So I am on the airplane, and I am like, oh my gosh, there's so many stanzas to this song. I get there, it turns out I only needed to know the first one. <laughs> I remember Well, you look like you're always overprepared. <laughs> yeah. Well, we hope that you wake up to many more tweets from all over the me world, spe especially <laughs> South Africa. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank there. you for having but me. But you're not going away because you're going to perform for us later. That's we right. Definitely can't perform wait. my new song, Renegade. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. So stay with us because later on in the show, Lauren will be performing live. And after the break, though, we sit down with the King Kong of motivational speaking, Wookie Lamini. Don't go away. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Thank you so much for joining us. If you, like me, are feeling like it's been too long a week already, well, this moment is just for you. Nothing beats a good midweek pick-me-up. And here to give us just that is American singer Lauren Mayhew with Renegade. Take Thank it away. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Just feel stuck Like this life's not enough You wish on a star Wondering who you are But the answer's not there, baby Don't need to go far To see in your heart only you on a star wondering who you are but the answer's not there baby don't need to go far to see in your heart Afternoon Express absolutely, Love. Absolutely, absolutely. Come on over, come on over. Oh, we'll treat you to South African treats because you haven't had yeah. these just yet. Tell me if you've had a cook sister or a cook sister in your life before. Uh, you know what, I haven't, but I feel like I've been learning about them watching you do it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so that is a coup sister. Okay. Taste one for me. Okay, great. I love treats. Okay, do you like <laughs> it? It's got lots of nice sugar inside, great. so it's going to re energize you after that performance. Yeah. Cool. So that's, that's the coup sister. Okay, that's a coup sister. Cape Malay. Then you can try a okay. cook sister, mm. which is like plated dough, also steeped in syrup. But th these are like a special syrup. We made like a delicious special syrup with nice, um, like, uh, Why like is it spices. Because uh, it's got like a cardamom uh, okay. in there and. Mmm, mm. I like that a lot. Which do you mean you that? Like? So she's saying that oh, like she doesn't mean it. Which no, one do you like more? I think this one actually. Because it's got mm -hmm. more syrup on it? Probably. 
My I reason like sweets. Too. <laughs> What's happening tomorrow? So tomorrow on the show we're celebrating South African design with two incredible talents. I'm so excited for the show tomorrow because fashion designer Celeste Arnser joins us, as well as Belina Naidu, who creates fashion for people who are blind mm. using a Braille in, uh, in identification system. So in your little like you know you've got these little tags on your clothes usually on the inside. It's, it's actually Braille. She's raised them to make the Braille so that you can kind of figure out what materials are made out of it to help obviously blind people find fashion that's going to fit them and suit them that they can find is ethically sourced without having to go and have somebody yeah. else come and help One you. One of the most exciting things to watch in South Africa is what's happening in the design space. Indeed. So, yeah. Looking we'll see you then, South Africa. Have a brilliant <laughs> rest of your evening and thank you so much for joining us once again. We'll see you again same time, same place tomorrow. Find Lauren, us on social thank sites. You. Yeah, thanks Lauren, for having thanks. me. It's been a pleasure. Enjoy your treats. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Bye.